Hi guys, this is Emily Copelli from Gerda Steiner Designs and for today's card I already stamped my duck from my Lucky Duck stamp set on a Strathmore watercolor paper using my archival ink in jet black. Then I masked the side of the duck's head with some post-it notes and stamped the glasses from the Go For It stamp set on my duck using my archival ink in jet black as well. Once I stamped all my images, I removed the masking paper, then used my colored pencils from Crayola to add some color and shading to my duck. Once I finished coloring my image, I went ahead and fussy cut it. Then I stick it with some low tack adhesive to a piece of scrapped cardstock and added some Versamark ink to my whole duck. Once I had my whole duck covered with the Versamark, I added some warm embossing powder to it in clear gloss and heat set it with my heat gun. I added about 3 or 4 layers of my clear embossing powder to make it thicker and glossier, as well as even out the embossing powder. I already die cut a stitch journaling card as well as a wave of water out of some blue cardstock from DCWV. Now I am cutting a thin stripe from the center of my piece of cardstock using my trimmer from Fiskar. Using my scissors, I will snip that thin strip I cut in the center of my piece of cardstock and remove it. I already put together another stitch journaling card which I die cut from an orange piece of cardstock as well as some grassy border and another wave of water to create my scene. Then added some foam tape all around the back of the piece of cardstock where I cut the thin strip from the center of it. Here you can see that I already cut a little rectangle of cardstock where I glued two little round of magnets. I also glued two little round magnets to the back of my duck, making sure that the magnets were all aligned. Even when I only used a half of a mini glue dot and rolled it up, making it even smaller, it was still picking out the sides of the magnets. So I used my powder bag to remove that stickiness and make sure that it would slide freely. Notice that the embossing powder kind of faded a little bit the colors in the dock. To add more detail to my card, I decided to punch out some clouds from white card dock using my Fiskars cloud punch. Then glued a green mat to my white card base and glued my stitch journaling card with my whole scene on top of it. And here is my card all finished. As you can see here, the duck is super glossy, which looks really pretty. At the same time, that protects it a little bit, and it slides really well. The recipient will be able to remove the duck from the card and use it wherever he wants as a decorative magnet, or simply leave it in the card and have fun with it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Don't forget to visit my blog as well as the Gerda Steiner Designs blog to see the list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here are three more cards that you might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!